guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my daughter, Alondra, and I just started kindergarten. <laughs> That's right. Alondra officially started kindergarten. We just finished our, I guess you would say this is our second week of school, but our first full week because she did start on a Thursday. Um, but in case anybody is new here to my channel, my name is Brittany. This is my daughter, Alondra, and we do live in the Dallas, Texas area. And for our school district, we got to decide what we wanted to do for school. We could either do virtual or in school. And if you did virtual, then you don't have to stay with it. You just have to stick to whatever you decide for six weeks. So if you do virtual, then you have to stay with it for six weeks. If you do in school, then you have to stay with that for six weeks. So you can rotate or change every six weeks if that is what you want to do. As of right now, we are sticking with just virtual. Obviously, we'll see how the rest of the year goes, but for now, Alondra is going to be doing virtual. So we have a different school supply list for virtual than what we do if she actually went into the school. If she was gonna go into the school, I think there was like 30 things on the list. It was a lot, and for virtual, there's not a whole lot. I have my computer screen up right here, so if I look this way, that is why, because I wanted to look at everything on the list. There is some things that we already had, so I didn't have to buy them, which was nice, but most of the stuff I did have to buy, mm -hmm. and we didn't get this list until the day before school started, so some of this stuff you'll see is already open, because I got like the last thing in yesterday from Amazon, so, all of the stuff I got from Walmart and Amazon. So the things from Amazon, I will, oh, and one thing from Costco. So I will link them in the description box, mainly the things from Amazon, because I feel like they are different. And just in case any of you maybe are homeschooling or are doing virtual schooling, these things might be beneficial to you. So there's four things on the school supply list that I'm not actually going to show because we did not buy them. The first thing was headphones. It was like an optional item but we didn't buy that because Alondra already does have a pair of headphones, so I figured there's no need to buy another set. They also said for us to get copy paper for the printer, which I have a ton of copy paper, so I didn't need to buy that. They also recommended glue sticks and then also scissors, but she already has a ton of glue sticks and scissors, so I didn't want to buy more. So those are the four things on our virtual school supply list that I did not buy. But going into the things that we did need to buy, um, of course, the first thing is, what do you have? Pencils. Yes, yeah, so the first thing is pencils. I got these at Walmart. Alondra wanted the neon ones, and yeah. I don't know how to say this word. Tikon Duraga? Tikon Duraga? I don't know how to say it. How do you say it? Tikon Duraga. Oh, okay. That's probably how you say it. I have no idea, but it says they are the world's best pencils. I never had these pencils growing up, but my husband was like, yeah, these are the best pencils. And I was like, okay. And for the virtual school supply list, it actually says she wants us to buy this name brand of pencils. So they had all black ones. They had just like your typical, you know, like wood color ones. And they had the neon ones, and Alondra one of the neon ones. They don't write neon, it's just the actual I, wood is neon. That's why I picked it, because I thought it was going to show up neon. Yeah, she thought it was going to write in neon, and I was like, no, it's still just a regular pencil. But anyways, we did get these at Walmart. Of course we needed crowns to draw. Yes, that's right. Um, on the list, it does say to get a box of crayons, so we got those crayons at Walmart. And then it also said that we needed this book. It's a mm -hmm. spark primary journal creative story tablet and it was only available at walmart um it took me forever to find this as well but alondra's already done one assignment in it but basically at the top is blank i don't know if you guys can see you guys can see her first assignment so at the top it's blank so you can draw and then at the bottom there are lines so just flip to like a blank page here so you can see it's blank for them to draw and then it's the typical like you know, beginning at school, kindergarten, first grade with the big line so that way they can write things. So this is what it looks like. And I could only find this at Walmart and the teacher wanted us to get this exact book. So the next thing is, is a whiteboard and the markers. That's right. Where do we get the whiteboard at? Uh, we bought it off of Amazon. Yes. And we bought this at Walmart. That's right. So we got the whiteboard and the markers. And she linked this specific whiteboard. So that's why I got that one. It's just eight and a half by 11. The next thing we bought is from Tasso. Mm -hmm. And it is a electric, um, Sharpener. <laughs> yeah, an electric pencil sharpener. This was on the like 
kind of like with the headphones so it wasn't like mandatory it was optional but i feel like obviously a pencil sharpener is something that we're gonna want and we just decided to get this at costco it's electric personal sharpener and then it also comes with a like regular manual one it's clear. yeah and i think this was 15 dollars. but i just figured the electric will be a lot easier for her especially mm -hmm. with pencils and colored pencils so guys i want to tell you something so the when you put the pencil in it just <laughs> this news is that it's only the change that you don't even have to press any button and there's no button <laughs> You guys have to plug it in now. Yeah, we do have to plug it in. That's right. She's <laughs> very excited about this electro pencil sharpener. So the last three things on the list are definitely, I feel like, some homeschool type items that they wanted us to get. And I got all of them off of Amazon. These were like items that she linked specifically and told us to buy, which was nice because I had no idea what some of this stuff was. So um, this here is two color counters. This is from the brand Learning. I kept the, the top part here, but from Learning Resources, there's 200 pieces. And basically this is what she's been using to do math. And she's already had a math test too, by the way. Um, but they are like these a plastic. Plus. Yep, she got an A plus. That's right, she got a good grade, 100%. But they are just red and yellow circles. They are plastic and they are counters. And again, we got these off of Amazon. I will link these last three items in the description box for you guys so you can like check them out for yourself. So um, the two-sided counters. And then Alondra has the next one. Blocks. Well, yeah, they're basically blocks. blocks. Well, they call them snack cubes. And this is from the same brand, Learning Resources. But you get 100 pieces. And yeah, so they are snack cubes. I kept this too, just so like I know what they are. But it's also Wait. for math. And you can like take Ooh, them apart to use snacks? them. Yeah, you can take them apart to use them as counters. Alondra's really been liking them um, for more than just like school and math, just playing with in general. And the last thing on our school supply list were these magnets. So we needed to get the alphabet ones. So this one actually has uppercase, lowercase. It has numbers. Wait, I think it has numbers. Yeah, it has numbers. And it also has punctuation as well. And again, we did get this off of Amazon. And this was the one that was suggested to us. So that is everything off of Alondra's virtual school supply list for kindergarten this year. Definitely comment down below and let us know, are you guys doing virtual or in school? And if you even started school yet, because I feel like a lot of schools are like starting after Labor Day. And I, I know like we're one of like the earliest ones to actually be starting school. So I'm curious, have you guys started school yet? And what option are you doing? So that is all that we have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please give, give it a thumbs up. up. Don't do you decide. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.